You know, it's uh, a <laughs> we have a a new uh female ju juicy sommelier. I, I don't really know. I guess it's not necessarily the same thing, but over the last couple of days, I've been following a story of a a individual, a decorated Navy vet, I believe, um, who showed up to Martin Luther King's birth home and tried burning it down. Now, what's interesting about this is it was at least a possibility here of a foiled fake hate crime. These are things that actually happen far more than you think. I mean, the world knows about Juicy Sommelier, right? Where they know about Jussie Smollett and he faked it. But it's super common. Even the Wall Street Journal wrote an article about it saying hate crime hoaxes are more common than you think. A political scientist found that fewer in one in three out of 346 such claims is even genuine. That in, it said another way, 67% of all reported hate crimes are lies. 67%. According, I mean, even the Wall Street Journal printed this. You're going to see this kind of stuff going on more and more as we lead up to the 2024 election. And that's what's scary about this. Between AI rapidly um, outpacing our ability to detect it between, you know, hoaxes and misinformation. Just imagine what would have happened in the streets if they didn't apprehend this individual. And by the way, they're black and a woman. Just saying. And, and when you get out there and you say, wow, that, I don't know. Remember when Juicy Sommelier came out there and said, you know, he, he said all this stuff happened to him and, and anyone who said like, mm, I don't know about all that. Mm, I don't know. They called you racist. They called you conspiracy theorists. They banned you from platforms. A woman attempted to burn down Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth home arriving with a gas, a gas canister and dousing the historic property in fuel on Thursday. Video from the, of the brazen attempt shows a woman dressed in all black freely pouring gasoline on the, hum, on the home's front porch, windows, and bushes at 5.45 p.m. Two tourists from Utah viewing the home were able to intervene and stop the suspect. One witness called the suspect I recall the suspect began to grow irritated after she was having trouble spreading the fuel around the property. By the way, I don't know if you've ever burned anything, but it's extremely easy to combine gasoline and a flame to make fire. I can't, I can't, and this was going on in broad daylight, but they were dressed in all black. The whole thing is so bizarre to me. So bizarre. The suspected arsonist was quickly detained by two off-duty police, NYPD police officers, who had been visiting the historical landmark and held her until Atlanta PD arrived. Wow, there must be a lot of people around this house. The off-duty officers jumped on the suspect after she pulled out a lighter and attempted to light it. Like, it, what's crazy is, like, what's so wild about this is, like, if again, if you've ever been around, like, gasoline, right? Like... You don't need a lot of help to get that stuff to, to light up. The suspect 26 has been charged with the criminal attempt arson, the criminal attempted interference with government property. Police have not released her name. The action saved an important part of American history tonight, Atlanta Police Chief Darian Schreierbaum told the news. Atlanta Fire Department Battalion Chief Jerry DeBerry, <laughs> Jerry DeBerry, revealed that the house could have burned down in moments if not for the witness stepping in. Of course. It could have been a matter of seconds before the house was engulfed in flames. The Atlanta Police Department said it's working with the District Attorney's Office, U.S. Attorney's Office, and the Bureau of ATF investigating the attempted arson. The home is in the care of the National Park Service, which acquired the property from the King family back in 2018 has been closed to tours since November because of ongoing renovations. 
Like, shout out to the Good Samaritans, by the way. Like, huge shout out to the Good Samaritans. But um, this is concerning because this is a, you know, if you look at the individual that did it, you know, you see hate hoax failed, question mark. Black woman arrested attempting to set MLK Jr.'s birth home on fire. I mean, here's the video. Look at this. They're filming them walking around just pouring gas. By the way, at any moment, like this, this person's an idiot. You could right now you could put that can down on the porch, light a match, and and or just do a little trail away from it and light it, and your job would be done. It was like they wanted to get caught. I don't really understand. And like there are a lot of questions around this. Like Think about, you know, the potential fiery but mostly peaceful protests that would have happened. This person, this dumb whatever, a.k.a. Lanisha Sean, Sean Trice Henderson, was just arrested after she tried to burn down MLK Jr.'s home. She was dousing the outside with gasoline when two tourists stopped her. Do you think she's mentally ill or pulling a juicy sommelier? Oh, here's some more of the video. What are you What are you doing? What are you doing? No, that's gasoline. What do you think that's soap? It's a gas can. Uh, some type of direction, or you just felt like this is what you needed to do. Okay, Cherokee Warchie. What on the earth does it have to do with an MLK? Same mentality. Okay. And that's why he's putting you in a position in which you can Where still the breathe. They're on their way. But you're... Uh, nobody's, nobody's trying to hurt you. We just want to make sure that... Ha By the way, thankfully, the people that apprehended her were also black. Like, everything... Like, everything about this was set up as a powder keg. Essentially. An absolute powder keg. House, none that happens to it. And... No, we are just. Yeah, are, are you comfortable, just young lady? Looking at this. Crib. Okay, as long as you can breathe, are you comfortable? Very cool. To see vehicles. Well, it seems like they didn't know the address. Here they come. We were, me and him were looking at the house, just checking it out. We're not from here, and um, she came up behind us, had a gas can, and at first she just seemed like she was kind of weird. Very weird. That, yeah, if that place had burned down that day, you might as well just let Atlanta go with it. Now, I mean, people are going to guess all sorts of things. I, I don't know, you know, was somebody paying her to do it, to incite bad behavior? In my opinion... Okay, this is where I live with Occam's razor. Do we we all know what that means, right? The mo the most likely reason is you know solution is the answer type of thing. Mental illness in this country, especially post lockdown, has never been worse. Mental health has never been worse, and you know I think that you know ultimately this is probably just a crazy person, but. You never really know. It's like when all these idiots that go into schools and do the terrible things, right? Every single one of them is deranged mentally. But the left and the right are, want to make it about, you know, AR-15s instead of mental health, which is really what it is. You know, I, I think that you have a black female here in broad daylight who is a military veteran. I just don't know. I don't really... This whole thing kind of stinks, but... If you really wanted to get away with it, wouldn't you have gone in the middle of the night? You know? You know, she if she's a veteran, what happened to her want you know to want to burn down MLK's childhood home? If so, the United States continues in filling and supporting our military's veterans' mental illness. I, I would suspect that there's something, you know, you have a mental issue here. But the story is really like, holy smokes, like if she, if she had lit this place up and walked away from it and let's say they didn't know and they didn't know who did it, 
it, but it, potential, it would be a potential massive disaster. You know, it's, it's so weird. It's so, it's so weird to me. Was it going to be, uh, were they trying to commit some sort of hate hoax? I don't know. You know, usually when you, t when you talk about somebody who has mental illness, it can be a combination of things. You know, I think that, you know, the military is certainly woke these days. Is this some, you know, did, did she get radicalized into BLM and thinking, okay, well, if I burn this down, then, you know, we're going to get more racial uprisings or is she just a run of the mill crazy person? Or is it, you know, people identify crazy people and then mold them into, you know, get them to do them, you know, get them to do things. I don't really, I don't really, I don't know. This one, you're going to have to let me know what you think is going on here. Run-of-the-mill crazy person or hate hoax foiled? I don't know. It's, it's a wild story. We, hopefully we'll find out more about it, but I suspect we never will.